Tweety plays Catch the Pooty Tag by Elaine Daly, illustrated by Peter Alvarado and William Lorenz. I think I'd better find that pooty tag, Tweety decided. He's always trying to catch me, so I'm safer if I know where he is. He flew down to the floor, hoping to see Sylvester curled up in his favorite snoozing place. But Sylvester was in the kitchen, and he seemed very busy. Tweety Pope peeked around the corner. I wonder what the pooty tat is cooking, said Tweety to himself. It smells very tasty. Then he heard Sylvester call, Tweety, Tweety Bird, I've got a present for you. Oh, goody, thought Tweety. The pooty tat wants to be friends again. He flew into the kitchen. What's my present? he asked. Bird seed flapjacks, said Sylvester, made just for you. He flipped one quickly into the air and it fell plop right on Tweety. Oh, cried Tweety, my flapjack is too big. Not for me, said Sylvester. It's just right with a Tweety bird inside. He pounced, but the flapjack and Tweety disappeared under the stove. That was a naughty putty dad, said Tweety. I would like to be friend with you, but you make it so hard. No harm meant, Tweety, said Sylvester. I just like to play catch the Tweety Bird. Let's play catch the putty tat for a little while, suggested Tweety. But Sylvester just yawned and fell asleep. Tweety escaped from under the stove and flew up to the attic. I really need a west from that putty tat, he said as he perched on the birdcage. How can I make him stop chasing me? And Tweety looked into the cage and had an idea. He searched the attic and finally found just what he wanted, a paper bird hanging from a string. Tweety put the paper bird far back inside the cage. Pooty Dad will think the bird is a real one. He will have to go inside to get it. I will twap him in the bird cage. Tweety hid beside the open bird cage door. Then he began to sing. Soon he heard Sylvester call. Tweety, did I hear you up there, up here? Suddenly Sylvester spied the cage and inside what he thought was a bird. Aha! Is going and pounced into the open cage. Tweety slammed the door shut. Ah, yourself, he said. Now you can't get out, and I will have a rest. A rest, eh? said Sylvester after a minute. Well, keep your eyes open, Tweety. I think you're about to see a cage walking. Sylvester put his legs through the wires and walked away to find a wire cutter. Soon he had cut his way out and was again chasing poor Tweety. Pooty tat! Tweety puffed out of breath. I'm getting so very sleepy. I wish you would go away for a long time. Later, Tweety asked himself, what would make him go away? Something scary, maybe? While Sylvester was sleeping, Tweety thought and thought that Pooty Tat is pretty brave, he recalled. Tweety, Tweety, it would take something really scary to frighten him away. I know, he said. I'll be a witch. A scary witch. That should make that pooty tat go away for a long time. Tweety made himself look like a scary witch. He flew over Sylvester's head. Swish. Ooh, said Tweety Witch. Sylvester opened one eye, and then he opened the other. What was that? Yeah, standing up looking around. A witch, said the Tweety Witch. A witch, eh? Said Sylvester. You're a very small witch, aren't you? Well, yes, said Tweety Witch. But you know what small witches do, don't you? What? Asked Sylvester, backing away just a little bit. We cast spells, bad ones. We can change cats into tiny mice. Into m mice? Can, can you uh, r really do that? Asked Sylvester, backing away a little faster. It's my favorite spell, said Tweety Witch. I'll show you. He began to wave his broom. No, don't, shouted Sylvester. And he ran out the door and through the gate. I'm starting to spell, said Tweety Witch as he flew just a bunch of it. One, two, kazip, kazip. Sylvester ran faster and so fast he didn't see where he was going. Look out, shouted Tweety, but it was too late. Sylvester was right at the edge of a pond. He couldn't stop, so he took a mighty leap and landed beside a big rock. After a minute, climb up the rock. He looked back and said, saw Tweety, who had taken off his witch mask. Tweety, screamed Sylvester. Then he said, I knew that it was all you all the time. Are you all white? Pooty tat, Tweety called. No, says Fair. Cats don't like water. Help me. Sylvester pointed to shore. Sell that little boat over and rescue me. But Tweety wouldn't do it. You are a naughty Pooty tat, he said, and he flew home, leaving Sylvester marooned. For a little while, Tweety was happy all by himself. Then a strange thing happened. He grew lonesome. I never thought I'd miss that pesky Pooty tat, 
he said to himself. I even miss being chased. Riley flew back to see how Sylvester was getting along, and what did Tweety find? Sylvester was even more lonesome than Tweety. Poor Pretty Tat, said Tweety. If I rescue you, will you promise not to play chase all the time? I promise, I promise, said Sylvester. So Tweety sailed the little boat over the rock, and Sylvester sailed it back. And the next day, Sylvester chased Tweety only twice, once before breakfast and once before dinner. Thanks for listening. If you like what you heard, please click like and subscribe.